All right, what's up everybody? Osric here. This is a match using the M16 on C-Town. C-Town is a very, very tight close quarters map, so using something like the M16 is a challenge. This is not easy to use because to the M16, to be consistent, I mean, you can run around with this gun. You can do well with it at times, but it's not going to be something you can rely on. To really rely on the M16, you have to understand spacing and, you know, how to keep the enemy away from you. Because as you see, whenever I get close to an enemy, you see how inconsistent it is up close? It has a lot to do with internet connection. I mean, it has a lot to do with the lag in the game, how bad the enemies are lagging. So to really just compensate for that, you want to keep just a good medium to long range distance between you and the enemy at all times. So what that equates to on C-Town, that means you're going to end up camping a lot. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is I was playing with subscribers off Twitter. I don't think I was actually streaming on this one, but I had a bunch of a bunch of you guys in here playing with me. And what we like to do is we basically like to spawn trap. And that's what I want to talk about in this commentary. Um, I have mixed thoughts on spawn trapping. And those of you that are new to Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3 is your first ever um, game that you've played from either Treyarch or Infinity Ward. Spawn trapping is basically when you play Domination and you keep them on one side of the map. You hold two of the flags and then you trap them on the other side so that they can't get out of their spawn. They can't capture that second flag and you're essentially guaranteed a victory because to win Domination you only need two flags the entire game. That's all you need. You don't need to go in and cap that third flag. Some of you guys always tell me, Oz, oh, it's Domination. Go in, try to three cap them and dominate. I mean, you could try to play it that way, but believe me, it's very, very rare that you'll ever succeed in doing that against a good team. When you play against good teams, you got to spawn trap. You know, what I kind of have a problem with when it comes to spawn trapping is because of Modern Warfare 3, there's been a, a huge, huge increase in the amount of clans that are out there. Because of Call of Duty Elite, they've they're, they basically promoted everyone to join a clan. So now you see a lot more people playing in parties on the PS3. You see a lot more people playing in parties on the Xbox. And what a lot of these guys do is they try to fucking spawn trap you on Domination. Now, back in the day, spawn trapping was something you didn't see a whole lot of. I mean, you see it from the really good players, you know. They sit there and they like to just contain you in one area so they can stack up kill streaks, Especially in, like, Black Ops. You know, people would sit there and try to spawn trap you until a Blackbird goes up. And then the Blackbird goes up, and then they all rush to destroy you, and then you just have constant Blackbirds up the entire game. That's how uh, that's how I used to play Black Ops with a lot of my friends. Like, me and Scrub Killer, we'd always get our friends together, and then we'd go in, and we'd just basically spawn trap the hell out of people. I mean, when you go into modes like Demolition on Black Ops, it was so broken because of Blackbird. I mean, you could literally push up to the point where they're actually spawning in front of you. You can knife them as they're spawning. And um, it was just pretty stupid. But my thoughts on spawn trapping, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of a necessary evil. I mean, when you play against good players, you kind of have to spawn trap them. But when you when you do, like this gameplay here, for example, when you play against noobs, I mean, some of these guys on the other team are, are decent. You know, they're not bad. 1.5 KDs, maybe 2 KDs every now and then. But then you get the really bad split screeners that go like 2 and 30. <laughs> and that kind of ruins it for the team. I think it's necessary to trap a good team, but when, you, when you're when you doing this like we're doing here, I think it's pretty damn lame. I'll admit it's lame. I mean, sitting there aiming down sight, waiting for them to come down one or two alleyways the entire match, and and yeah, that. I mean, I'm going to try not to do this as much anymore. I mean, I've been doing this since, the, since Modern Warfare 2. I've been spawn trapping the hell out of people because, I mean, there's not really much you can do. I mean, you play in a full party. I mean, what, the whole team's going to rush in? No, spawn's going to be flipping. Everybody's going to get 20, 30 kills. It's, it's boring. Everybody wants a lot of kills. That's why people spawn trap. But yeah, I think, it just, I think it is a necessary evil, but even as a game developer, like if they were to try to fix this and they're like, all right, no more spawn trapping, you know, if, you know there's, it's not going to work. Because you're always going to find a way to contain the enemy. It's always going to be in domination. It's part of domination. Spawn trapping is part of it. Um, my, my advice is, hey, if you're rolling in a full party, if you're playing with your clan mates, guys, just rush them. <laughs> you're you're going to win anyway. you got a full team. Chances are, if you're in a clan, you're going to stomp them. Just freaking run in there, destroy them. That's what me personally, what I'm going to start doing when I'm playing with subscribers. No more of this spawn trapping bullshit. Uh, I think I definitely think it's really gay, but I'll upload a video here shortly. Um, I thought it'll probably be tomorrow's vid. That'll be part two. I'm gonna show you a video of me getting spawn trapped. 
I've been spawn trapped many, many times. Any, and I was actually Moabbed in that game. I mean, anybody that says they're a good player and they've never been Moabbed has obviously and clearly never played alone against a full team on domination. You're going to get spawn trapped. You're going to get Moabbed, and that's the end of that. You know, if you say good players don't get Moab, well, good players probably aren't playing alone either. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'll have that video up tomorrow. Be on the lookout for that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy this, go ahead and drop me a like rating. Peace out.